All right, here we are, everybody. It's the evening of November 3rd, 2020. It's about 4.30 Eastern time, and I'm going to go ahead and make my predictions. I'm going to make this quick. I could use all kinds of detailed uh, analysis and numbers and all that, but I don't think any of us have time for that because we're getting excited about uh, sitting back and watching what's going to unfold tonight. All right, Parity Patriots, here we go. What I have in brown here are the toss-up states. Let's get Arizona out of the way. Arizona has been closing in the polls lately. Uh, Biden was up just a week or two ago <clears throat> by a few points, and now it's all pretty much a toss-up. It's pretty tight. The fact that he won that last time, I think he's going to get that momentum. And the interesting appeal he's starting to have with Hispanics more and more over the last few months, I've picked up on that just uh, making videos and hearing a lot of the commentary from non-conservative voices. That tells me Arizona is going to go Trump. I'll go ahead and make it lean, lean Trump, but that doesn't matter. It still puts it in his column. All right, so that gets him at 143. We got Biden at 233, so we got a ways to go. All right, Texas. Everyone's hearing about Texas. I'm sorry. Texas is not going to go to Biden. Uh, the fact that it's even close or being considered does concern me. And honest, guys, uh, 2024 might be a different story, especially if Biden's president for four years or Biden for a year and Harris for three years, right? Um, and we have more illegal immigration <clears throat> going on and more people uh, voting uh, that are coming in illegally. That could be a problem that pushes Texas, not to mention all the California uh, liberal people, uh, liberal voters that are moving to Texas, the big influx. So Texas is changing, but I don't think it's going to happen this round. All right, Florida. Florida is so strong right now with the anti-communist sentiment among Cuban, Venezuelan, Brazilian, Hispanics in the South that I think Florida is going to go to Trump again like it did last time. So I feel good about that one going in Trump's uh, column here. And uh, it's going to be tight, but what's going to be fun is that's going to be an early state. So we're going to know, one, if I'm anywhere close to accurate on this estimate, and two, we're going to know what kind of night Trump's going to have, I think, based on how Florida goes early. Georgia. Georgia should not be... Uh, in consideration here. He won that last time. However, it is a changing dynamic going on there. And, uh, you know, I think it's one of those states that you have people from the north moving down to and maybe bringing some of their more liberal politics. But on top of that, Georgia in 2016 went to Trump. In 18, they blew it on the polls with the governor race there. So I think that in the end, they're going to blow it on the polls that are leaning Biden right now in Georgia and that he's going to maintain Georgia. Uh, Trump is. So I'm putting that in his column. Now, North Carolina, same, it's kind of a similar situation. He won it last time. Um, it seems, again, that he's closing the gap. It's that, that momentum's a big deal. If you're losing in these polls and then you close the gap the last few days, you just have a momentum going on, and we see that with the crowds and all of that. So I think North Carolina is going to hang in there again like it was last time and go in his column. Um, that, now, at this point, it looks like I've got Trump at 241 to Biden 233. So that feels good, but now I'm going to go in some areas that maybe won't feel so good. Well, not yet. Let's do one more. My state of Ohio. Ohio, he won Ohio, Trump, by eight points in 2016. And it had gone to Obama before. And I will tell you, a friend that is a plant engineer, works in a automotive manufacturing facility. He was the one that tipped me off months before the 2016 election when he said, hey, all these union guys on the line are all putting Trump signs and, and so forth in their, uh, in their spaces along the assembly line. I'm telling you, the union vote is going for the Republican this time. I said, what? And that was my first indication something was up. So I asked him yesterday, hey, those same guys you told me four years ago, they still have the Trump signs? He said, absolutely. They are completely for Trump and supporting him. I said, all right. So the only areas in Ohio, and, and, and I'm concerned about this in Pennsylvania also, that uh, our concern is really the suburbs. And I, being in the suburbs in Ohio, I have seen a lot more Biden signs than I saw Hillary signs last time. And I just know a lot of people who seem to be a little more on the side of Biden uh, than they were back in were for Hillary back in 2016. So I'm a little nervous about that. However, again, Trump won Ohio by eight points, and I can't imagine it falling that far. On top of that, Mike DeWine, our governor, was not predicted in any polls that I can recall 
to win in the 2018 midterms, and he won as governor. So I'm going to say that uh, we're going to see Ohio go for Trump. All right, so now that's good. Hate to say it, guys, I don't see uh, Wisconsin going to Trump. I, if you recall, he won. Trump won Wisconsin with less points, less votes than um, oh, Mitt Romney got. Sorry, I had a blank there. Sounded like a Joe trying to remember who that Mormon guy was, right? Uh, Joe Biden. Um, so Wisconsin, it's, it's. I mean, if you really think about that, if if Mitt Romney got more votes in Wisconsin than Trump did, and Trump still won, that tells you how few votes Hillary got to still lose to Trump in Wisconsin last time. I think they are making sure with all the early voting and that they're going to get the votes back that they had more in the Obama years, or if not, at least closer, and that's going to be enough to overtake that slim margin Trump had last time. So I hate to say it, but I'm going to give this to Biden. All right. That puts us... Uh, to the last two of these uh, blue wall states, so to speak. Michigan, I mean, everything I'm hearing with Michigan is it's the same thing. He barely won Michigan, but the Michigan crowds up there and, and the union vote again is strong. But you know, that Detroit area did not turn out for Hillary and they seem to be turning out uh, Wayne County and Oakland and all those areas. So I, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna have to give that to Biden. That puts, look at this score here, 259 to 259. This is why everyone is saying it comes down to Pennsylvania, and it does. And that's why he's been there so much, and that's why there's concern about the voting that's going to continue for days later, which makes me think we won't have a final uh, call on this election for at least a day or so while they count these votes, because they don't start counting those uh, mail-in ballots until today in the early voting, I believe. So anyway, Pennsylvania, I mean... Same thing. You've got Pittsburgh suburbs and Philadelphia suburbs that I'm worried are starting to lean towards um, Biden. And, you know, Biden, Scranton, you know, he, I mean, if, if, there's no doubt in my mind the reason Biden won as a Democrat nominee was because they were hoping he could pull those blue collar workers back that Trump had gotten in the blue wall states to win last time. And, you know, it may be working a little bit. Maybe these Wisconsin and Michigan. Uh, workers are going to do that. However, his comments on fracking and oil, um, he hurt himself in Pennsylvania with that. And even uh, Kamala's comments about it as well. I, I tell you, gang, it could go either way. I mean, obviously, if I give this to Biden, which I kind of feel like my head is telling me is going to happen, he gets 279, he hits the 270 mark, he wins the election. If uh, it ends up going to Trump, he gets 279, and Biden gets 259. You see how tight this is. So here's where I'm at. My head tells me that Pennsylvania is going to go to Biden. My heart tells me Trump is going to win Pennsylvania. Curious what you guys think. I think this is where what it comes down to. So I'm going to go with my heart <laughs> because I want to see Trump win, obviously. But uh, that's my prediction. Uh, by a hair, and uh, if it went the other direction, it won't surprise me, like I told you, because I think that's where my head is at. But I'm going with my heart. I'm going Trump 2020. I'm um, hoping we get four more years of uh, Trump's policies and uh, liberties and all the good things that have come out of the economy and everything else with uh, with having Trump as our president. So thanks, guys. Looking forward to the comments to see what you all think. And rock on.